be going on in Rochester this weekend. Comedian David Harris joins us today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. It's, it looks uh, like it's, it's, it's nice and lively. A lot of gel in there. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David Harris, comedian from Minneapolis. That's right. Okay, yep. so you drove down today? Yep, drove down. Uh, actually, I, was, I did a corporate event last night in Owatonna. Oh, very nice. And then nice. Uh, it was just the rest of the trip, so Perfect. not too bad, yeah. Perfect. So you've been doing this for 20 plus years? That's what I tell people. It's okay. just my first time, but yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I've been doing a while now, yeah. So I've been doing comedy about 15 years. And actually. you've been to Goonies before. Yeah, I uh, I started there uh, at what is one of the clubs I basically started at, doing open mics and, um, you know, going down um, from the Twin Cities and testing out new material and uh, it was uh, it was really fun to be able to kind of build the act over the years and eventually feature and now I get to headline so what can people expect from your comedy tonight and tomorrow um, at Goonies? probably a lot of anxiety uh, <laughs> no I yeah I talk about work family relationships uh, stress um, uh, like this <laughs> that's how I am and so I like to and I like to interact with the crowd a little bit in a light-hearted fun way and uh, I just my goal is for people to have fun so does comedy keep you extremely busy are you all over the place uh, I am I mean uh, I'm lucky uh, you know I can always be busier but yeah. uh, it's it's fun I get to perform all throughout the country the majority of the work I do is in the upper Midwest because that's where I'm based sure um, and uh, I'm not super famous yet um, We'll give it another week or uh, after uh, Goonies, yeah, a couple uh, centuries. But uh, yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm excited to uh, perform at Goonies, and uh, it's uh, I haven't performed at this iteration of this club because there's been uh, iterations yeah. of uh, clubs over the years. But I'm excited to do this room now. Great. So yeah. tickets are still available. You can get them online. Nineteen dollars online. Twenty five at the door at Goonies tonight and tomorrow. Seven thirty. Things start. Yes, yep, okay. 730. And how long, I know I've gone before, how long is your set usually? Um, usually it's about 45 minutes or so. Okay. Uh, and then we also have some great opening acts too. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sherlonda Sharp is going to be coming down, also from the Twin Cities. And uh, Grant Hildreth is a, a Rochester based. So, okay, perfect. Yeah, you get a little uh, mix of different styles and... Uh, Yes. Uh, fun. So. Goonies Comedy over there on South Broadway. Newer location. Newer location. I don't know if Google Maps has updated yet because I know some people when they go, like, oh, it took me to the old location. Yeah, I think it's 1625 <laughs> Broadway, yeah. I believe. Yes. So South uh, End of Broadway now with the, I think it's called the Rochester Inn and Suites or something, that's isn't right. it now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they changed that hotel name, too. Yeah, they have, like, a bag over it. <laughs> yeah, so I know. That's how They're you know where to find it. <laughs> There's any sign companies, they could use a new sign there. Maybe they have one ordered, I don't My know. My dad would be like, we need more signage around here. Here. You'd just be screaming for no reason. Sign in <laughs> so how do you decide, um, how does one become a comedian? When did you decide, yep, this is what I want to do? Um, well, uh, I actually started as a magician. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, uh, on purpose. And so uh, I would do, uh, you know, kids' parties and festivals, and that quickly led to, like, corporate events. And I would always try to weave jokes in my act. Mm -hmm. And sometimes my act was a joke. Uh, but uh, I like to try to uh, add, you know, uh, comedy to it. Um, um, and I think I had to kind of doing interactive magic um, up close at people's tables at like bar restaurants mm -hmm. growing up. You had to be kind of quick on your feet. Yeah. And so which is uh, is partially uh, what it takes to be a comedian. But you also, of course, you build material and stuff. So it's just something I've always uh, been interested in. Um, my family is a little crazy. So uh, <laughs> I think that puts it. Uh, they give you some too. good content? Yeah, some good content for <laughs> sure. I'm crazy, so <laughs> it kind of works out. And so you, uh, it's a good outlet and uh, a way to connect with people. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. We appreciate you taking time. Uh, you can catch them at Goonies Comedy Club this weekend tonight already. We have tickets online. You can find those at kgdc.com. 25 bucks if you decide last minute that you want to go, you can pay at the door. And check out David Harris and some other comedians, one local from Rochester. Get there! <laughs> Do it. There. Yeah, do it. Yeah, okay? it's bad weather. Get inside. <laughs> yes. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. More to come on Midwest Access, including we are going to head back to the block party.